Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So for today's video I'm going to be running through our nighttime routine as a family, what we do to get our four month old twin boys ready for bed. Our nighttime routine typically starts around 6.15, 6.30 and this is when I prepare the boys dinner. So here I am just picking through my freezer and looking through my stash of breast milk and trying to find the one with the oldest date to use. I like to go from the oldest dates to the newest dates to ensure that nothing goes bad or goes left unused. Once I have the milk chosen, I then head over to my sink to fill a bowl with some warm water to help defrost the milk. This does a really great job at defrosting it in a timely manner. I think it takes about 15 minutes tops for the entire bag of milk to defrost. While the milk is defrosting in the sink, I go ahead and start to measure out the boys' cereal. So I just use the Gerber oatmeal as of now. Previously we were using the Gerber rice cereal, but we've switched over to the oatmeal and the boys like it just the same. And they take about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of this every morning and evening. in particular I did finish preparing the boys cereal pretty early and so I wanted to hold them off till around 6 40 ish that is usually when we will go ahead and feed the boys and so to hold the boys over we will usually take them out of their bouncers and play with them so here are both the boys on the couch I like to stretch them out and just try and get their energy out before we start the bedtime routine and here I am just undressing the boys I do like to feed them either with their shirts off or completely undressed because they tend to make somewhat of a mess and it's just easier to feed them without their clothes on. Once they're undressed, I bring them over to their high chairs and put their bibs on. I use silicone bibs for them when I'm feeding them their cereal because they're very easy to just wipe clean afterwards. And so here is little Benny enjoying his cereal. On this night, for some reason, little Jackie was not really having it. He was a little bit cranky since he didn't doze off after his 4 o'clock feeding. Sometimes they will doze off for about 30 minutes. And on this night, he did not. And so he was a little cranky and just ready to get going on bedtime. So it was a little difficult to feed him his cereal. But once he started going, he could not stop. Once the boys are finished eating their cereal, I will clean them off and Harris and I will bring both of them upstairs. We will then usually place both of them into one crib since it's easiest for me to just engage with them and play with them when they're in the same space. And so while I'm upstairs playing with the boys and getting the rest of their energy out, Harris will be downstairs cleaning up from dinner and he will also get going on making their bottles. During this time, I do also like to get some chores done around the boys' nursery that have to get done. So on this night in particular, I had to fold the boys' laundry, but on some nights I will reload their diapers in their diaper drawer, I will straighten up their room, fold the laundry like I mentioned, anything of that sort. Once the chores are done and if there's still time before we give the boys a bath, I will usually just go ahead and continue playing with them in the crib. We do not give the boys a bath every single night. We are on an every other night schedule and so on the nights when they don't receive a bath, we just continue to play with them in their cribs until around 7.30. 
Around 7.15, Harris will bring in the bottles that he has made, and he will also go ahead and pick out a book for me to read to the boys that night, and during this time, he will also start running the bath water. Once the bath is all ready, Harris will take in the first boy and start him on his bath, and during this time, I will pick out the boys' pajamas, I will get the lotion out and the hairbrush, anything that we need for the after bath routine, and I will also go ahead and bring the towels into the bathroom. When the first boy is done with his bath, I will then take them out of the bath and wrap them in their towel and bring them into the room to put a diaper on them and during this time Harris will be getting the second boy ready to go into the bath by taking his diaper off and bringing him in and getting started on him. Once the first baby has his diaper on, Harris and I will then switch. He will go ahead and lotion that baby and get him dressed and ready to be fed. And I will go in and I will finish up bathing the second baby. So on this night, I got to bathe little Benny. It switches every night. And the shampoo and body wash we use is just this honest lavender one. We absolutely love this. Once my baby is done with his bath, I will then take him out and wrap him in his towel and bring him into the nursery to put a diaper on him. It is usually around 7.30 when we are done with the bath time routine and so Harris will begin feeding his baby while I get a diaper on mine. Once my baby has his diaper on, it is then time to lotion him, brush his hair, and get him dressed. The lotion that we use is just the Baby Avino The Lavender Scent. We'll then go ahead and turn the light off in the nursery and just let the little sun that is left illuminate the room and we will feed the boys their 7 ounce bottle. During this time I'll also turn their sound machine on to get them nice and relaxed for bed. Once they are done being fed and burped, I will then swallow them up and place them in their cribs. I will go ahead and read them a quick little bedtime story before leaving the room. I do leave the room while they're still awake so they can practice putting themselves to sleep at night. Once the boys are asleep, it's then Harris and I's time to spend some quality time together, and on this night we decided to watch a movie. So here I am just picking through the candy sesh that we have in our refrigerator. Harris loves to eat every kind of candy cold, and so here I am picking through it to try and pick what I want to eat during our movie. On this night, we actually decided to watch Trolls World Tour. I know, very fitting now that we are a mom and dad. But that is basically it for our bedtime routine. If we are not watching a movie together, Harris is usually watching TV and I'm doing some schoolwork. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Head on down there and subscribe if you haven't already. And with that being said, I will see you guys in our next video. Bye, guys.